Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the Sir Alex Ferguson Challenge with Sheffield United. In today's episode, we enter the knockout stages of the Europa League against Red Bull Leipzig. We will be playing both legs. Let's hope we can get through. If our last couple of games are anything to go by, we won't be going through. The first game was against Manchester United in the fifth round of the FA Cup where we got beat 2-0 away from home. It was a relatively even game. They did deserve the win in the end. But uh, Tammy Abraham and Ruben Loftus-Cheek getting the goals. Is this Chelsea or is this Manchester United? And then we went away from home against Spurs in the league and got absolutely trounced 4-0. Carrasco put them in front and side a minute. Davinson Sanchez then on the sixth minute. Muka Lely on the 62nd minute. And then Lucas Moore on the 77th. We were awful. We didn't create anything. So those were the only games you've missed since the last episode. The Premier League table remains like this. We currently sit in 6th position, 4 points behind Manchester City in 5th place now. But we are still 8 points ahead of Wolves in 7th. Spurs closed the gap pretty significantly with that win. But we, we've still got a comfortable lead, but them 2 games were played really poor. So the rest of the knockouts for the Europa League, as you can see, Lazio, Frankfurt, uh, any key, like Chelsea, Milan should be a decent, uh, decent game. But there's no, apart from Chelsea... There's no major sides in there. Roma's a really good side. Same with Milan. Same with Lazio, to be honest. They're pretty good on this year's FM. Uh, Red Bull Leipzig are probably one of the biggest sides still left in the competition who we face today. But yeah, I think if we can get past Red Bull Leipzig and avoid some of the big boys, we might end up getting pretty far in this competition. So we are at home for the first leg against Red Bull Leipzig. And this is how we're going to line up. Jack Butland in goal. Tilo Kerr, Onjin and Amionia comes in at centre-back for the suspended Bella Kotchap. George Baldock and Luca Pellegrini as our wing backs with Ronaldo Sanchez, Danny Olmo in the centre of midfield, Jean Pierre in behind Haaland and Esposito. So, Red Bull Leipzig do have a very, very good side. They've got the likes of Matthias Cunha up top. He's a really, really good striker. He's still only worth £4 million. Might be worth a cheeky bid in the summer. Um, but the likes of Uber Mencano, Canardia in the defence, they're going to be a really big problem. Emil Fosberg, Rodrigo's on loan from Real Madrid. They've got a really good side and if we are to get through, we'll have done very well. First highlight of the game, six minutes in. We're in an advanced position with a throw and Danny Olmo keeps the ball well. Don't give it away there. We are very susceptible to the counter-attack here. But Renato Sanchez finds George Baldock on this right-hand side. He gets in the box. He goes for... Well, he, I think he went for goal. That was more like a cross. Um, that wasn't good. Another highlight now. We are currently in possession at the back. Playing it about quite nicely to retain possession and George Baldock tries to switch the play but Klosterman can cut that out. And Bale Forsberg drives forward now for Red Bull Leipzig, tries to switch the play, Baldock cuts this one out and Renato Sanchez can set us away hopefully for a counter. It's not going to be fast by any means. We retain possession with Amione Onjin, tries to play the ball over the top, it falls to Haaland, oh, he's one on one with the keeper and he misses again. That was a perfect opportunity to put us 1-0 up inside 10 minutes, but we didn't take it. We'll stick with the corner. It's cleared by Klosterman, and that's probably going to be all she wrote, unless Red Bull Leipzig can create a chance of themselves. George balled up with a big challenge. Probably saved us a little bit there. Oh my god, it's happened again. I wasn't even paying any attention because it was the same highlight that's been going on for about a minute and a half. But um, George Baldock has just pulled... Uh, who was it last time? I can't even remember. But he tries to pass it back to the keeper. It's too short on Rodrigo. How many times does that happen on Football Manager? Compared to real life. I mean, I feel like I've seen that about six or seven times this season so far. I mean, come on. So we're 1-0 down in the first leg. We are at home, so we we need a win, ideally. Haaland, he's in behind. He's one-on-one. -on -one. Of course, he's missing. We did seem like we started pretty well in this game, but ever since they've scored, things have gone a little bit quiet. Danny Olmo with a free kick in. How's the keeper keeping a hole of that? That is a fantastic save. Almost Sheffield United won. Rodrigo, though, is causing us all sorts of problems down that left-hand side. Decent tackle initially by Renato Sanchez, but he keeps the ball, but he gives it away to Jean-Pierre, and the highlight continues. Esposito, you're about 10 yards offside. Haaland goes for goal, though, and Erling Haaland with a fantastic strike puts us 1-1, 18th goal of the season. He can't score a 1-1, -on -one, but he can score from the edge of the box absolutely beautifully. The keeper does get his hand to it, and you would think he's going to keep this out, but Haaland... Fantastic, fantastic strike. 1-1. One, one. Thank God for that. Oh, that, that, that was a goal. I have no idea where that's come from. It didn't even show me what the goal was. He was offside anyway. And there we are, half-time. And given the circumstances, I'm pretty happy with how things are going right now. 
Um, a poor goal to concede, but a great goal to get us back level. And now we need to go out the second half and get the winner. 55 minutes in now, we get our first highlight of the second half. It's Red Bull Leipzig, though, who are in possession. And they've got plenty of space on that right-hand side. But they end up switching it to Rodrigo on the left-hand side. He gets to the byline. He goes for goal. And it hits the side net. Another highlight now, Danny Olmo with a corner. It's found Esposito at the back post. And Sebastiano Esposito gets his 12th goal of the season. He puts us 2-1 up. It's a set-piece goal. The board will be loving it. And Danny Olmo turns provider. Esposito finishes it off coolly. Marked by three men. None of them can do anything about it. Sheffield United 2, Red Bull Leipzig 1. 15 minutes to go in this match. There is another highlight. It's Red Bull Leipzig in possession in their own half. Hopefully we can win it and spring a counter as we do now. Amionia gives the ball away now. Emil Fosberg's in behind. The defence manages to get back. Butland with the save goes out for a corner. With only a few minutes to go in this match, we will look to make our changes. I'm not taking Danny Olmo off. He's having such a good game. We will take off Luca Pellegrini for Ender Stevens. We'll bring on John Fleck for Renato Sanchez. And we'll also bring on Alexander Isaac for Sebastiano Esposito. And there we have it full time for the first leg. Sheffield United 2, Red Bull Leipzig 1. We will definitely take that after the first 10 minutes of this game. Getting the win in the first leg puts the pressure on them going into the away leg. And let's just hope we can get an away goal or two. And this is how the rest of the results fe uh, featured in the Europa League knockouts. Bilbao beating Sparta at Moscow in the first leg. Chelsea beating Milan. Dynamo came Roma drawn. It seems like a pretty heavily dominant home win. Apart from Bayer Leverkusen beating Fenerbahce. Real Sociedad, Drama Dynamo, Lazio beating Frankfurt, and of course us beating Red Bull Leipzig. Olmo, given the man of the match there, apparently had a great game in the centre of midfield. Got Blackburn in the Premier League before the second leg, so I'll play that, show you the result, and we'll get to the second leg. So the Europa League quarter-final and semi-final draws have been done. I decided not to show it because it's a pain in the arse when you don't even know if you throw it to the next round but if we do manage to get past Red Bull Leipzig we will face the winner of Fenerbahce or Bayer Leverkusen after the first leg it's likely to be Bayer Leverkusen which is a little bit disappointing but um, we've avoided the likes of Chelsea and if we are to then beat Bayer Leverkusen we will face one of Bilbao, Real Sociedad, Spartak Moscow or Dynamo Moscow that seems like a pretty favourable draw I think we've been drawn on the right side of this but we've got to beat Red Bull Leipzig so we've just played Blackburn in the Premier League and managed to win this one 4-0. Erling Haaland with two goals, an own goal, and Luca Pellegrini with a goal. We did end up playing with 10 men due to uh, Bruno Amione getting injured in the 83rd minute. But that wasn't too bad. Blackburn didn't really make the most of that. Only a few days to go till the second leg, so I will see you there. We'll quickly take a look at the Premier League table. It won't have changed anything. We're still four points behind Manchester City in fifth and still eight points clear of Wolves in seventh. So we're here at the second leg away from home against Leipzig. The only change to the starting eleven is Bella Kochap returns for the injured Amione. Let's get the kick off. They pretty much play the exact same side that played us in the first leg. I think we had the better of them in the first leg, but we'll see how the second leg goes being away from home. It's going to be a much different challenge. Let's get to it. First highlight of the game, it's a corner for Leipzig. We managed to get it clear. Esposito... Wins the ball back from Skov and he can drive forward down this left-hand side. He's beat his man. Please finish this. Oh, decent save by the keeper. One-on-one, -on -one, naturally. Esposito done really well there, though, to get to the uh, get to their box and get a strike in was absolutely crazy. But a uh, decent start by us. Another highlight now. Danny Olmo flicks the ball through to Jean-Pierre, who's in behind one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. And another decent save to keep Leipzig in the game. We'll stick with this, though. Danny Olmo with the corner. He whips it in back post. Esposito was there again. Canate can get rid for Leipzig this time. The highlights are coming thick and fast in the opening period of this game. 12 minutes in now. We have another one. Renato Sanchez finds Jean-Pierre Haaland. Gives the ball away though. And Red Bull Leipzig can now retain possession and build something from the back. They work the ball all the way to Mate Matthias Cunha who finds Rodrigo on the left hand side. He hits the woodwork with a stinging strike. We, we need to be careful of that. Another highlight... It was us in the back there playing it about a little bit dangerously, but thankfully we managed to get a bit of have we? No, we haven't. Cunha's in behind. He goes for goal. Jack Button with the save. Uh, that was offside anyway. It looked like it. 30 minutes in now. We win the ball after a Red Bull Leipzig throw in, and Esposito's driving forward once again. He's on the edge. He goes for goal, and it goes just wide. Luca Pellegrini gives the ball away, but manages to win it back. Haaland set away a decent challenge by Uber Mancano to keep Red Bull Leipzig in this. 
Skov picks up the ball on the right hand side. He cuts in and finds Rodrigo on the left. Bella Kochap though does well to get back and win the ball back. Boiled up with the ball over the top. Haaland's there. Please go for goal. Go for goal early. What a challenge that was. Oh, what a save by the keeper. That's going to go out for a corner. We've had so many good opportunities in this game. Hopefully we don't look back at that with regret. The ball's still in the box for Haaland. No, it's, it's, it's out. 32 minutes in now. Renato Sanchez gives the ball away sloppily. And Matthias Cunha is now in behind. The defence manages to get back just in time. But he beats them all and he goes for goal. Jack Butland with a decent save. Corner though, Emil Forsberg to play it in. It goes back post to Canati. Bella Kochap clears. Skov keeps the ball alive for Red Bull Leipzig. Oh, Sanchez. That was a dodgy, dodgy challenge. It looked like it was on the edge of the box to me for a free kick. Thank God it was. And we get to half time at 0 0. A good couple of opportunities for both sides. We probably both should have at least one goal in on the score sheet, but it's 0 0. We'll kick off for the second half. Things. A relatively going well for us. Danny Olmo with the corner. Plays it in. And Esposito was there back post once again to get another set-piece goal. That's his 13th goal of the season. Another assist for Danny Olmo from the corner. And that is absolutely fantastic way to start the second half. Gives us the away goal. It gives us the advantage. They need two now to take an extra time. Come on, boys. Time is just ticking away in this one. 65 minutes in for the next highlight. Ball up with the ball on the right-hand side. Whips it in. It's cleared by the Red Bull Leipzig defence, but Danny Olmo keeps it alive, finds Baldock, who finds Jean-Pierre, and Jean-Pierre's 18th goal of the season puts us 2-0 up on the night, 4-1 up on aggregate, and surely now we are through to the next round. The innate extra time is now out of the question, they need four goals to end up winning this tie. There's only 25 minutes to go, if we remain composed at the back, we should be good. Highlight straight after the goal, though. We are in possession, but I don't like the look of this. Oh, on Jane with the ball over the top. Esposito has beat his man. He's one-on-one. -on -one. He's one-on-one. -on -one. Going to go in a cautious mentality for the final 10 minutes. We'll look to make our subs. George Baldock, you're going to have to steal him, mate. <laughs> we'll get Ender Stevens on at the left wing back row. We'll get Oliver Norwood on for Danny Olmo. And we'll get John Fleck on for Jean-Pierre. Just to keep the boys fresh. I think we are through now at this point. George Baldock's picked up a knock. That is not good if he is out for any length of time. Um, obviously Dodo's out with a major injury, our permanent right wing back, and he's out back up. We haven't got much after that, but it doesn't matter. Red Bull Leipzig nil, Sheffield United 2. That is 4-1 on aggregate. We have done the business. We are through to the next round. Let's go find out who we will face in the next knockout round. It's likely to be Bayer Leverkusen. I think they had the advantage after the first leg. Let's have a look. Where are they, Bayer? Oh my, Fenerbahce ends up going through on away goals after extra time. That is absolutely fantastic. We will face Fenerbahce in the next round, in the next episode. That is beautiful. Who were the other potential faces? So Spartak Moscow beat Athletic Bilbao. That's good for us. They're a team we might face in the semi-final. Who was the other side? I can't remember if it was. Was it Roma? No, it wasn't Roma. It was Dynamo Moscow and Real Sociedad. And Real Sociedad's made it through. So it'll be Spartak Moscow, Real Sociedad, us against Fenerbahce. If we manage to beat that, we will face the winner of those. That's a fantastic. Chelsea are out as well. Milan beat them on away goals. That is ideal. I, I want Roma out now. Can somebody do that for me? And there's the confirmation. Sheffield United draw um, Fenerbahce in the Euro Cup. And there is the final eight, the quarterfinals of the Europa League. Lazio against Roma is great. One of them sides going out is perfect. Braga... Can you do us a favour against AC Milan and Spartak Moscow, I think, who I would prefer to play. Let's take a look. That will be the next episode against Fenerbahce. Both legs, only a couple of games in between Everton and Brighton. But um, that will be the next episode. But anyway, if you have enjoyed today's video, please consider leaving a like. And if you are enjoying my content, get yourself subscribed. But until next time, take it easy.